Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal channel, and today I have a new wax sealing video for you. And I honestly think this is my best wax sealing video yet. In today's video I will be using supplies sent to me by Crosspire. I have done a video with their supplies once before. Um, this is a web shop that sells all sorts of things but I'm of course mainly in, um, interested in the wax sealing supplies. The idea is simple, they just send me a coupon code, I pick out goodies and I make a video with them. So I don't work for them or um, work with them, it's just uh, kind of a one-time thing, except now it's happened twice. So as you can see, I picked out various wax seal stamps. I was quite keen to pick out different shapes because I have a lot of round ones, which is totally cool. I mean, I love round wax seal stamps, but I was really interested in picking some different ones. So I chose an oval one, a square one, a rectangular one, and uh, a mini brass wax seal and I also picked out a wax seal furnace and a little um, marble mat like a marble coaster that I can use to make the wax seals on top of the reason why I chose a new wax seal furnace is because I previously owned a wooden one I've had that one for years uh, but it caught on fire that actually scared the crap out of me so I wanted to get a metal one to prevent opening in the future that now i've complained about this once before but my um editing software actually cannot keep up uh so basically i am talking right now doing the voiceover but i cannot uh the video i'm watching is not up to date so i can't really talk about what you guys are seeing at the moment i can just of course explain to you what i'm doing but keep in mind that because the footage is so far behind i probably am talking about something else than you are watching at the moment. I have installed new editing software, but it's just a trial version and the real deal would cost me like 300 euros. So I'm first going to test it out to see if it works for me. But that would probably make my life a lot easier because editing with this software, it's called Wondershare for Mora. Do not buy it if you want to make real videos. Um, editing has been such a pain. So hmm. I'm just going to explain to you what you have probably seen up until now. First of all, the funny wax seal shapes. Um, yes, this is something new I've been doing. These are not wax seal beads you can buy. I just make them myself. Of course, I already owned heart-shaped wax seal beads. I got those from Crossfire the last time. So it's just sealing wax shaped like hearts. But I have also been making my own shapes. I just got some like candy molds over on AliExpress and I pour hot wax into that and then I have floral shaped wax seal beads or buttons or I have a whole bunch of different ones mainly floral ones and leaves and like I said buttons and bows really cute um the only difference is it's kind of difficult to um measure how much wax you would need for one seal another thing you're also seeing me do in this video which I probably haven't done in a different video just yet is use a lighter near my wax seals so you can see a little flame me holding a flame up to the wax seals and why i am doing that this is a really good trick for those of you who are new is because when you heat your wax your sealing wax up too much you get those little air bubbles and i don't like the look of that i think it looks better if there's no air bubbles long story short so I hold the wax, uh, I hold the flame up to the bubbles because the heat will actually make them pop and remelt the wax. Um, so this is just an easy trick to get rid of their bubbles. <laughs> okay so so far you've seen me use the new wax seals i got let me know your favorite i have to admit the lavender one i just made is one of my favorites because first of all it's square and i just think that's kind of cool because it's original and second of all the design is just absolutely adorable but i think my absolute favorite is the oval one simply because it's easy to use and really really pretty the large rectangle, I just made a glittery one by simply adding some gold glitter. The huge rectangle one is also really fun because I love the design. It's like um, a 
terrarium. I think it's called a terrarium, which I think is very cool. It's like crystals, but I find it very difficult to um, uh, to guess how many wax seal or how many wax seal beads I need. So it's kind of difficult to guess how many wax I need to pour it, meaning um, the times I have used it, I have often used either too little or too much wax. And I don't really like the way that looks. I, for example, made one off camera um, that has a beautiful color combination, but it's just very heavy because I used a lot more wax than I needed to. So I think it will be one of my favorites, especially for closing big envelopes, but I just need to figure out the right measurements. Then another wax seal you're probably seeing me make right now, at least I hope so, is a, um, a white one with a dried flower in it. That is a pansy that I plucked from my mom's garden. Don't worry, I actually got permission. <laughs> I plucked it in the summer and I dried them in between uh, pages of a book. The colors stayed absolutely beautiful. I don't know if they will brown in a couple of years time, but um, so far for months they have had that beautiful color. Then what you're seeing me do now, I think we're up to date at least, is cut a wax seal into pieces because I actually did not like the way it turned out. Um, the problem or the downsides of using a marble uh, mat is that it's quite cold, meaning the wax seal will dry really or will cool down really quickly will like solidify if I'm saying that correctly really quickly which is perfect if you're making a lot of wax seals in one go but it also means that you just have to be a little bit quicker with stamping it because the wax will just cool down too fast and then you can't actually uh, press the stamp in there perfectly anymore so that's what happened I didn't like the shape I didn't like the way it turned out so I just peeled it off cut it up melted it again and then it turned out quite nice this is a wax seal I made with little sequins in there, little star-shaped sequins. Um, it's a little bit messy because again, uh, the wax cooled down a little bit faster than I wanted it to, but I still think it looks kind of cool. And the reason why I was using a lighter this time is because I was kind of hoping to fix the shape. As it had the sequins inside, it would be difficult to remelt, even though that's exactly what I did with this one. As you can see, inside the wax is also a little bit of gold leaf because I cut up a wax seal that had gold leaf in it. Um, but remelting it would just be difficult because you get lumps. But this one turned out to be one of my favorites. <laughs> I simply love that color combination of green and blue. Um, so yeah, oh my god, I can't believe that's already it. These are the vaccines we've made. This was a shorter video because I filmed it very differently. This is also how I film my wax sealing clips for TikTok. I'm on TikTok, I know I'm way too old, but it's so much fun to share little wax seals there. Um, so what I did this time differently over the last times is I only filmed the melting the pouring, the stamping, and the end result. And with the previous ones, I would just f continuously film so that you would see all, uh, all of the, all of the process, I guess. But this just goes a lot faster and I think it's a lot easier to watch. So let me know how you liked this. Let me know what was your favorite stamp. Of course, a big, big thank you to Crossfire. Don't forget to check out the website because they have a lot more designs that you are going to love. Actually, it took me hours to just scroll through the entire page, so I'm sure there's something for everyone. I also have a coupon code, which I will link, or I will mention in the description box down below. And I'm hoping to see you all again very soon. Okay, bye-bye!